Good day everyone. Welcome to an accounting masterclass, grade 12 syllabus. Today we are doing November 2018 exam and we are focusing on question two. And question two is based on VET is based on VET and creditors reconciliation. VET and creditors reconciliation. VET is the tax charged on the supply of goods and services. It is called value added tax. It used to be 14%, but now it is currently charged at 15% in South Africa. So this question was based on VET and creditors reconciliation. Let's start with VET. 2.1. Samsung Traders is registered for VET and the VET rate is 15%. Required 2.1.1. Calculate the figures indicated by A to D in the table below. We always advise students that when we are doing these questions, you should be having a question paper in front of you. And if you are having a question paper, November 2018, we are on page 6 of this question paper. Question 2. Then 2.1 on page 6. The information there is given. There is a table given there for the amount excluding VAT, the VAT amount, and in the amount including VAT. And VAT is charged at 15%. Right, let's start with the first calculation. The first calculation is A, and we are required to calculate the VAT amount. If you look at the table given, the excluding VET amount is 960 and the amount including VET is 1104. So it's easy to calculate the VAT amount in this case because we've got both amounts. We've got the amount including VET and the amount excluding VET. So the amount including VET is 1104 and if we subtract the amount excluding VET, which is 960, then we will get the VET amount, the VAT amount, 1,104 minus 960 equals to 144. Yes, equals to 144. 1,104 minus 960 equals to 144 which is our VAT amount and the next transaction in the same table we are required to calculate B and B is again the VAT amount we want to calculate the VAT amount and the amount that is given in this case is the amount excluding VAT remember the amount excluding VAT is 100% the amount excluding VAT is 100% and the VAT amount, this is excluding. The amount excluding VAT is 100% and if the VAT is 15%, this is VAT and therefore the amount including VAT will then be 115. The amount including VAT will be 115. So we want to calculate VAT amount given the amount excluding VAT, which is 100%. The amount excluding VAT here is 52,600. We have 52,600 excluding VAT and we want to calculate VAT of 15%. So you multiply by the percentage of what you want and you divide by the percentage of the amount given. The amount given is 52,600 and is excluding VAT, therefore the percentage of the excluding VAT is 100. So 52,600 multiplied by 15 over 100. 2,600 multiplied by 15 over 
100 equals to 7,890. 7,890. So 52,600 multiplied by 15 over 100 equals to 7,890. That is the amount excluding VAT multiplied by 15% equals to the VAT of 7,890. And transaction 3, we have we are want to calculate the excluding VAT given the VAT amount. The VAT amount that is given is 720. The VAT amount that is given is 720. And we want to calculate the amount excluding VAT. Remember, I said to you the amount excluding VAT is 100, VAT is 15, and including is 115. So in this case, we are given VAT. And the rule is that we multiply by the percentage of the amount that we want and divide by the percentage of the amount given. So in this case, we want excluding. So therefore, the percentage of what we want is 100. And if we have to divide by the percentage of the amount given, the 720 is 15. So this is going to be multiplied by 100 over 15. Multiplied by 100 over 15. So 720 multiplied by 100 divided by 15 equals to 4,800. So the amount excluding VAT is 4,800. You multiply by the percentage of what we want, which is 100, and divide by the percentage of what is given, which is 15, because the amount given is VAT amount, which is 15%. Right, we also have the last one, the last calculation of the cash sales there. We want to calculate UD, and D is the VAT amount. We want to calculate the VAT amount but we are given the amount including VAT. Amount including VAT given is 112,470. 112,470. That's the amount including VAT. And then there is a star next to that amount which is then uh, directing us to a transaction underneath there which is also marked with a star it says this includes zero rated goods that should have been sold for 5500 the bookkeeper has incorrectly included vet of 825 on these goods and this must be corrected so these goods should have been sold for 5500 and they included the VAT of 825. So if we are to take these goods out because they are zero rated, remember there are zero rated items. Zero rated items, VAT is charged at 0%. But for the standard rated items, VAT is charged at 15%. And there are also VAT exempted items. VAT exempted items, it is where you cannot charge by law. You cannot charge VAT on those items. But the zero rated ones are those goods that have been financed by the government for them to be cheap. So as a result, VAT is put at 0%. So, but for the VAT exempted items, by law, you cannot charge VAT on those items. But the standard rated items, then you need to charge VAT according to the current percentage in South Africa, which is 15%. So we have these goods that were sold for 5,500. The bookkeeper has incorrectly included VAT of 825 on these goods. So the total sales amount for these goods is 5,500 plus that 825. So the total selling price of these goods is 6,325 and they must be taken out from this. 6,325. We are taking them out because they are zero rated. So it's going to be 112,470 minus 112,470 minus 6,325 equal to 106,145. 106,145 and this amount is including 
VAT, its amount including VAT. And the amount including VAT, what is it that we want to calculate? We want to calculate VAT. So VAT, the percentage of what we want is 15, and the percentage of what is given is 115, because we are given the amount including VAT. So 106, 106,145 multiply by 15 divided by 115 equals to 13,845. So a VAT amount is 13,845. The VAT amount is 13,845. We, we, we are given 112,470 including VAT and we are told that the total amount of this goods which is 6,325 is, is, is zero rated. So therefore it should be taken out of this amount so that we are able to calculate only using the figure of an amount for standard rated items which is 106,145 multiplied by the percentage that we want is 15 that's VET amount and we are given the amount including VET which is 115 so we divide by the percentage of the amount given so the correct amount then for VET for alphabet D is 13,845. 2.1.2. 2.1.2, which is the last question under 2.1, which is based on VET, it says, You are the internal auditor. The sole owner, Samson, used a business check to buy a new car for 460,000, including VET. This car is kept at home for his wife use and Samson says the vehicle must be recorded as a business asset and 60,000 must be recorded as a VAT input in the business book. Explain what would you say to Samson provide two points. So we can see here what Samson is trying to do uh, because this vehicle is used by his wife so therefore this cannot be recorded as VAT input because he knows that if he can record it, uh, this 60,000 under VAT input, it will then reduce the amount payable to SARS. So we are saying that the first point business assets must be separated from personal assets and in bracket we are referring to business entity rule that's a gap principle business entity rule the financial affairs of the owner must be kept separate to the financial affairs of the business same thing with the business assets must be separated from the personal assets so the business entity rule and second point is that this will be tax evasion and is unethical as it will reduce we are saying that uh, this is will be tax evasion if we can agree to this it will mean that what we'll be doing is regarded as tax evasion and is unethical as it will reduce amount payable to SARS. So we do not agree with this suggestion by Samson that this 60,000 for a personal vehicle must be recorded as VAT input because it will be unethical and it's a criminal offense. And if the business is found to be doing that, it may be charged and a criminal case may be opened against the business. So we are saying we are strongly against this practice.